hello guys in this video we are going to see how to create a basic gps application so i have a blank project here now so let's let's go ahead and start by creating the ui first let's go to the layout and click on activity main i'll just create a button here to get the location i'll change the id to btn get lock and i'll change the text to get location that's pretty much for our ui for accessing our gps we need to have certain permissions in android studio we give our permissions in the manifest file so let's go to the manifest file just above the application tag give users permission access find location so android dot permission dot access find location and close the users permission tag so that's pretty much it for the permissions part so let's now go to the main activity i'll first create an object for the button button and i'll map it to the uh, id which is given in the xml so btn now i'll create a on click listener for the button so we have created the button and we have set up a on on click listener so the next step is creating an another class for the gps and getting a location from the gps so let's create a new class i'll call call it gps tracker and i'll create a um, constructor first so gps public and i'll get a context as a parameter and i'll have a member to store the context for using gps we should implement from the location listener so implements location listener so it shows up an error let's see what it is so it it is asking us to implement an abstract method called on status change so for implementing abstract methods you just need to right click and go to generate and click on override methods and you'll have methods which belong to the location listener so i'm going to implement all the methods here and click on okay there you go all the methods are implemented but for now we are not going to work with these methods here we are going to create a method which gives us the location back to the main activity so the return type will be a location and we'll create an uh, object name as get location so we'll create public lo location location the return data type and get location so it's showing us an error because we haven't returned anything yet but it's okay we'll return it to get the location we are going to use a location manager so we'll location manager lm equals the context which we received dot get system service and inside the system service we are going to give location service it refers to the gps let me close it out and it shows us an error uh, which is an incompatible type so we have to typecast it to location manage location manager that's it then 
we have to check if the GPS is enabled on the device. So we'll create a variable for that to store if the GPS is enabled. Is GPS enabled? And we'll use a location manager object. Is provider enabled? Then we'll give the provider which is uh, location manager dot GPS provider. So and if the G GPS is enabled, we'll get the uh, value and return the location. Else, we'll create a toast saying that please enable GPS. So toast dot make text. We'll give the context then please enable gps then the time for it to show long and then show to get the location we should call the request location update method so we'll give lm dot request location update where we have to give the provider name first which is location manager dot gps provider then the long minimum time between the updates so that will be given in uh, milliseconds so i'm gonna give uh, like 6000 milliseconds and then a minimum distance so that will be like 10 meters and a location listener so for that i'm gonna give this so that refers to the object which is created by this class so there is an error this error specifically comes only on the devices which are running lollipop or greater like lollipop marshmallow and now get so to get around this error you have to check if the permission is enabled by the user so if uh, I'm gonna give in, it inside the get location if context compact dot check self permission in that we are gonna give the context first then this permission name that's access find location so Android dot manifest that's capital M manifest dot permission dot access find location that's it and it if it is not equal to per package manager package manager dot permission granted then we will toast dot make text context comma uh, permission not granted and give a short for this And show and we'll return a null so no location will be returned and then if you see here the error here is gone so if you are using something like Android 4.4 uh, or KitKat or Jellybean or something like that you won't need these lines you can just go ahead you can use these lines now I'm gonna get the last known location from the GPS so for that, I'm going to create a location object, location L, and I'm going to type uh, use the location manager object here and get last known location. And I'm going to give the GPS here, location manager dot GPS provider. And I'll return this location.
so when you call this get location it go ahead and checks if the permission for access find location is granted if not it will toast permission not granted and return null so it will go out of the get location and if the permission is granted it will just go out of here and go here and create a location manager object which cor corresponds to the location service and then it creates it checks if the gps is enabled by using the is provider enabled method and the gps provider then if the gps is enabled it is gonna uh, request location updates for this class then it's gonna get the last known location from the gps provider and it returns the location so if none of this happens if gps is not enabled we should give return null so there are no errors here so let's go back to the main activity and use the methods from this gps tracker so let's create an object for the gps tracker first so gps tracker g equals new gps tracker and remember we have given a context for the uh, uh, constructor so we should pass in a context here so the context will be get application context and we'll get the location object here location l equals g dot get location so if the l is not equal to null so l, we get the latitude that's uh, that's a double double lat equals to l dot get latitude and double long equal to l dot get longitude and we'll toast the location here so toast toast dot make text and we'll context give the context get application context then uh, lat equals latitude then we'll give a new line then we create a longitude long long then we'll give the lo duration as long and then dot show so this code will work on android devices which is less than uh, lollipop for lollipop and marshmallow you must have mostly seen a pop-up which asks the application needs to know your location right so we should get that permission from the user so uh, that's the same thing we have used right here to check if the user has granted the uh, permission to use the gps so for for uh, giving that pop-up to the user we use activity compact so activity compact dot request permission and we'll give the uh, activity here so that's our main activity main activity dot this then we should give a string of permissions so new string sorry string of manifest dot permission dot access find location then a request code here we give us one two three so that's it guys let's check out our application so let's run it so it's asking for our permission so let's give allow and let's give get location and here is the output guys you get the latitude and longitude so for if you are testing it on a virtual emulator like this so you can just give another location to test your results so you can give 12 i'm gonna give 99 then send and close it and then again get location oh i didn't get that part sorry it's 99 is not valid right 22 that should work yeah that's 
yeah it's coming that's it guys click over here to watch my last video and i'll be doing a lot of videos so like subscribe and stay tuned bye